here, here, doesn't really matter how I set it up. Only thing that matters is that I make the content. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hoopers, non-hoopers, basketball aficionados, and all people who love things basketball. Welcome back. Nice to see you. It's been a long time. My apologies. I know I've been away. I know I haven't been cranking out the content like I usually do. There's a few reasons for that. One being I turned 35 at the beginning of September. Wanted to take a week of just relaxation. Didn't turn out to be that. It was a great week. It was a great holiday week for me and my family. We went out to San Francisco, Oakland, enjoyed ourselves, saw some family, saw some friends, had a great time. When we came back, it wasn't COVID, it was the flu. Got tested twice, made sure it wasn't COVID. We were negative. But me, my fiance, our daughter, my brother-in-law, everybody in our entire house, we all got the flu. So that knocked me down for another week. So that's two weeks of not even thinking about making content. But during that time, I was doing my best to try to come up with ideas of what we could talk about. Now, obviously, based on the title, you have an idea of what we're talking about, but let me tell you how we got here. I've done plenty of reviews on shoes in regards to their style and performance. I've done the same thing for basketballs. The thought, let me expand. Let me expand the number of items or the number of things that I'm going to review because the game of basketball is so much bigger than just the basketball you use in the shoes that you wear. There's a ton of other equipment involved. That's why today, my friends, we are going to talk about all these socks. I did that for dramatic effect. Don't know how it's gonna turn out in edit. Hopefully it looks real cool. Anyway, we are talking about socks. Why? Great question. For me, socks have always been an integral part in regards to the equipment I wear for basketball. The shoes that I wear are only as comfortable and in my estimate or in my opinion ah there it is in my opinion the socks play a huge role in how comfortable and how much performance you're willing to get out of the shoe let me break it down every single one of these socks i have chosen specifically because they are basketball related in my opinion there's two pairs on here that we'll talk about that may not necessarily be considered basketball related, but for me, I would consider them as such. So, today I have one, two, three, four, five different pairs of socks. I have a pair of Nike Elite socks. These are a Kyrie edition. I have the older model of the Stance NBA official sock. This was before the NBA went to Nike. I also have a pair of the current NBA official Nike sock, and I can't wait to talk about these because these are something else. I have what I would consider the dark horse, and you know, kind of, kind of a fan favorite of mine. I've got a pair of Stride Line socks, local favorite. Definitely, we'll get into that. And then just to add something as kind of a baseline, something that maybe doesn't even belong here. I brought a pair of the Nike Certified Loverboy socks. I don't know if they're by Drake, designed by Drake, a collab by Drake or OVO for the Certified Loverboy album. We're gonna get into every single one of these socks. I'm going to talk about what I love, I'm going to also talk about which pairs of shoes I would pair with each sock because the cushioning, the stretch, the breathability, everything is different on every single one of these socks. And for me, every single difference requires 
a different pair of shoes. So I guess if we go in order, let's talk about the Nike Elite Crew Sock. Go ahead and just pop. You know what? Let's talk about that first. I was just gonna pop this thing off like I did, right? Now, this may not be that important to any of you, but for someone who is a bit OCD like me, this is very important. Some people would just get real aggressive and just rip this shit all off, which will ultimately allow you to get to the sock. The problem is, is that sometimes with these little plastic, I don't know what those things are. These little plastic things, if you pull, this is gonna be inappropriate, if you pull out too fast, you could leave uh, like some holes, cuts, like uh, I think it's frailing or, or whatever on the socks, it just, things will start to get snagged, it's not a good look. I suggest using scissors if you have a pair. I don't have a pair. If you don't have a pair, just do what you gotta do, all right? But let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. I, the first time I wore these socks was actually yesterday. I had a client that I was training eight in the morning and I needed a pair of socks that I knew were going to be comfortable. These Nike, you know what, I'm not, it, I was going to talk about all the little specs. Let's talk about it in like real layman's terms. Like everyone, everyone has some sort of cushioning, some sort of stretch, some sort of breathability, advanced system, technology. Cool. Let's talk about what really matters with the sock. A few things that really matter to me. The arch. What's happening with the arch of the sock? Do we have extra cushioning? Do we have some extra stretch? Do we have, uh, you know, kind of a, a compressed or confined, something to kind of keep the arch of your foot locked down so there's not a lot of slide, there's not a lot of sliding? Because that tends to happen with a lot of regular socks. That's part of the reason why we're doing this review of socks. Most traditional, through two socks. When you're playing, when you're running around, your foot's sliding inside of that shoe. Now, whether your foot is actually sliding or your foot is, in, is sliding inside of the sock, either way, it's an uncomfortable feeling. No one likes to have that bunch up at the bottom of their the arc, arch of their foot, especially when they're playing. It's, it's annoying, right? So with these Nike Elite, you've got the traditional kind of bunching in the arch, which is fantastic. It's gonna allow your foot not to slide in the sock. It's gonna keep it locked down. You've got extra cushioning around the toes, which is wonderful, especially if you are a big man, uh, you know, a guard, someone whose feet are just going to be taking a beating. You know what I mean? Small, fast cuts, uh, lateral movements, your feet are just getting banged up inside of there. This, is, this isn't gonna happen. On the heel, not a whole lot of extra padding, cushioning. Uh, you got kind of just your traditional uh, Nike Elite cushioning. At the top, the ankles, there is um, like an added layer, I guess, of cushioning, elastic, and protection, which ultimately translates over into the, the top, or I guess the neck of the sock, uh, staying, or keeping its elasticity. If that's not a word, that's a word today. Keeping its elasticity, allowing you to wear the sock multiple times without it looking old, tired, and lazy. The design on the sides don't add nor take away, in my opinion, to the sock. And the tags on here are a nice touch, not necessary, but a nice touch anyway. As all Nike Elite socks, you've got a right foot and a left foot, um, which I, I guess people don't know which sock to put on which foot. But the reason behind that is that there are different uh, different spots for like additional padding, additional cushioning, 
on um, the inside of the arch as well as on the toes, um, which if you put it on the wrong foot, you will notice a difference immediately. It will not be comfortable. If you put it on the correct feet, the socks will perform as such. And I chose to wear my Kyrie Fives concepts with these shoes because, or with these socks, because those shoes are about a half size big. So the cushioning in this will allow for a nice, not a tight fit, but a nice fit. Um, and then I just thought if Kyrie had anything to do with the design of these socks, probably meant to be put inside of a Kyrie shoe. It was a no-brainer. If you are not able to get this particular pair, don't worry. There are tons of Nike Elite socks, and in my opinion, the Nike Elite sock is kind of the standard baseline for all basketball performance socks in regards to understanding the technology and kind of the, the support that's put into a sock. If you're looking for just a good sock that you can wear all the time when you're hooping, Nike Elite. All right, guys, that was my review on the Nike Elite sock. Let me know what you think. Would you buy a pair? I'm sure a lot of you have a pair. What do you think? I think they're great to perform in. Until next time. Ugh.